Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share a quick tip with you in R where we have a set of data here and we want to shift the position of some of the columns. The way that we're going to do this is by using relocate. Relocate is a function in the tidyverse. So if we go library and tidyverse, uh, if you have not installed this package before, Go to Packages, hit Install, type in Tidyverse. It's the most commonly used package of uh, pretty much anything in R, so it's going to be very helpful, uh, I would imagine. For most of you, you already have it there. So we go to Library, Tidyverse. I've got this data. I have already input it. Uh, I actually put it in there using Data Pasta. If you search through my old videos, Data Pasta is a really handy, quick way to whack some data into a data frame like this. I didn't need to type this out, which was very convenient. Uh, all of this R code is going to be on my website. It is linked in the video description below. So you'll be able to go and recreate all of this code yourself if you want to test it. Okay, so let's take a look at the data. You can see that's just a little sample data set. Got some categories. And I've got what looks like probably some Likert scale questions. And we can see that for some reason, whoever extracted this out of the system didn't do the questions in order. So Q1 through to Q5 and Q2 is sitting down the end here. For a lot of applications, this doesn't matter at all. So quite often we would not be at all worried about this because we refer to things by their column or variable names. However, we can run into problems when we're doing things like this. So if I go my data, select, and this might be leading into perhaps a cluster analysis or a factor analysis, something where I just wanted to capture these numeric question variables, and I've assumed that they're in order, and so I've said I want to grab Q1 through to Q5, and when we run that, we can see that we miss out on Q2. So when it grabs Q1 to Q5, it doesn't know that they are in any particular order. It just grabs everything in between. So relocate is a very simple, uh, very simple function. And basically we can use it a couple of different ways. So I've got a few examples here. The first one, we're going to try and fix this position of question two. So we can use this by either adding a dot after or a dot before. And that's going to tell uh, where to reorganize Q2. So I either want to say it's after Q1 or before Q3. We're going to do the same thing. So for demonstration purposes, we've got it here. I've got my data and the relocate. We run that and we can see that Q2 is now in the correct spot. What I would probably do is actually then allocate this to a new new data frame. So new data is going to be the rearranged one. So this is normally how we will do it. Um, that first part there was just so that we could run it and see what happens. So alternatively, we could use dot before. We run that and does exactly the same thing. One other thing that we can do with relocate if we don't give it a dot after or a dot before, then it defaults to shifting things to the beginning. So they become the first column. So here, my data relocate gender. What that's going to do moves gender to be the very first column. So maybe with my data, I wanted to shift all of the categories uh, to be here at the start before the questions. So we can actually put multiple variables in here. We can run it and we can see that it's moved gender and state to the front. So if we were doing all of our data cleaning, we would probably need to do a two steps. So the first one would be make this new one where we've relocated Q2. And then we could rearrange putting these categories at the front if we also wanted that. So that's the relocate variable. Very simple, uh, but can be very useful we have these kind of situations where it is important that your variables are in a particular column order 
Uh, and for me, the one that comes up more than anything else is where there's something using select. There's probably some other use cases, but for me, using select and wanting to be able to grab things and it not being in the prescribed order. So I hope this was helpful to you. Please like the video, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I regularly post videos about R, statistics, research, academia, and also random bits and pieces that I come across.